The least squares line for the relationship between the height and weight for supermodels is given as y hat is equal to 3.88x minus 152. Find the 99% prediction interval for a model's weight given that the model was 73 inches tall. So we have the summary data provided below, and if you read carefully here, we're looking for the 99% prediction interval, right, for a model's weight given that the model was 73 inches tall. Okay, so it's a prediction interval we're forming, so our first step should be to um, get the point estimator for the problem and to write down alpha. So our alpha in this case, given it's a 99% prediction interval, alpha will be 1%, which is the same as um, 0 0.01, of course. Now, let's plug in her height of 73 inches into our model to see what our point estimator, y hat, will be, right? So 3.88 blank minus 152. All right, so you're plugging in here 73 to see what our answer is for y hat. Okay, so we'll have 3.88, 3.88 times 73 minus 152. And when we're done, we get the answer 131.24. All right, our next step then to get is our table value. So this y hat value we'll save for later. Our table value, step two, is going to be t alpha divided by two. Now our t alpha divided by t value will be half of 1%, which is 0 0.005. The degrees of freedom is n minus two. Since n is nine, we're going to say that our answer for that is seven. Let's go to the table now and look up 0 0.005 in uh, the column, sorry, look up seven degrees of freedom in the column 0 0.005 on the t table, and that will give us our critical value. Okay, so we're looking for the value 0 0.005 with seven degrees of freedom. We get the answer 3.499. Okay, so we found our critical value to be 3.499. Now, what we wanna do in step three is to calculate our margin of error. Now, our margin of error is basically the table value, t alpha divided by two times s times this following square root. It'll be one Oops, it'll be one plus one over n plus the parentheses xp minus x bar quantity squared divided by sum of squares for x. Okay, so what we want to do here then is to plug in the values that we just came up with in the earlier part of the problem. So our t value is 3.499. The s value is given to us, it's 4. 0.8789. Then we're going to have a square root. So the square root of, it'll be one plus one over n, n here is nine, plus x, the predicted x value, which is 73, minus the average x value, which is 70.2 repeating. Close the parenthesis, square it, and then divide by the sum of square for x's, which is 19.05 repeating. Okay, so let's plug all in our calculators and see what we come up with. So 3.499 times 4.8789 times the square root of 1 plus 1 divided by 9 plus parentheses 73 minus 70.22222, close parentheses, squared, divided by 19.055555. All right, close that up, hit enter, and we get the answer 21.019. So 21.019 dot dot dot, right? No small value, a pretty large error. Okay, we'll store that in our calculator under X and move on to the next part of the problem. The next part of the problem is just to take that error value and add and subtract it to Y hat, right? So Y hat minus the error comma y hat plus the error. So our y hat value was 131.24. We'll subtract off the 21.019 and do the same thing but add it right on the other side. So 21.019. And see what that ends up giving us in our calculator. So I've stored this variable in my calculator so I'm just going to do 131.24 minus x. That gives us 110.2, let's say. 
and we'll do the same thing, but we're going to add x to it, and we end up with 152.3. All right, so that's our interval. And so what we're going to say for this problem is that we are 99% confident. We are 99% confident that the true weight of a model who is 73 inches tall is between 110 pounds to 152 pounds, basically. So again, we're not talking about the average weight for a model who stands 73 inches tall. We're talking about the true weight being somewhere inside this interval for a model who's 73 inches tall. We're 99% confident of that. So that's, that's really impressive that we're able to do that. Of course, you'd say this is a pretty wide range, right? From 110 to 152 is, you know, it's a huge span. But again, we're predicting for a specific woman who's 73 inches tall. We're trying to um, figure out or predict her height or her weight given that she's that tall. And so of course the interval is going to be wider than we normally expect in a confidence interval, but um, you know, it's a powerful interval, right? It's giving us 99% certainty that um, the woman is going to have a weight in that range. So it's a pretty impressive calculation.